ever think about the fact that Sonny actually sent you on my wedding day to tell me that he wasn't going to marry me? Yeah, I do. That was tough. But I know Sonny did it to protect you. Oh, right. Well, you could have mentioned it that day. You could have mentioned that to me. Look, I, I, I know the reasons why Sonny and I don't work. I mean, I understand, you know, the dynamic between us, but he, he could have tried harder. I mean, there was that one moment in our relationship that he could have pushed through, and he just didn't. Well, you know you were there. What do you think? I think you and Sonny don't seem to make each other happy for very long. <laughs> I guess that sums it up, doesn't it? On a scale of one to ten, how hungry are you? Oh, don't tell me you're in a back out of her deal now, no, huh? I'm trying to figure out, like, how much time I got to press the noodles before you pass out. Oh, wait a minute. You make your own noodles, too? You want a drink? Sure. You think I, you think I would uh, pour my marinara sauce over pasta out of a box? It's a desecration. You know what? I never would have pegged you as a guy who was so comfortable in the kitchen as you are doing business on the docks. Man's got to have a hobby. Oh, I assumed your only hobby was chasing women. How'd you think I got all those girls? Is that your secret? Hmm? Is that how you got Carly, by cooking for her? Uh, no, with Carly it was different because, see, her idea of a, of a great meal is frozen pizza. <laughs> and what about Brenda? Carly only brought Brenda up to get a reaction out of me. That's why I want to get the hell out of there, because mm -hmm. she knows how to push my buttons. Well, remind me to thank Carly. It saved me from having an excuse to come back here. You don't need an excuse. Otherwise, we will be ordering uh, frozen pizza. Pepperoni. Well, I was thinking of sausage with a bottle of Syrah. You, um, you make it a Merlot. Yeah? And you've got a deal. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's one thing we got to figure out, though. What's that? What's what? <laughs> Couch? Ronan murdered the man that you love. It makes sense that you'd want to see some good come out of all this pain, otherwise your boyfriend's death was for nothing. I'm not imagining this change in Ronan. I'm telling you, he, he's not the same man he was before. Ronan is a killer. When he takes a life, he feels nothing. It's all about the paycheck. People like that don't change. They do if they find God. I know what you're thinking. I was right there with you. Quite a lot of crap. I, I didn't believe Ronan had a soul to be saved. Truth be told, neither did he. Until one day, he found himself in a church hiding out from the police. It's hard to hide who you really are when God's staring down at you. Ronan had to come to terms with the path he's been on. Ronan's playing on your guilt. I know a lie when I hear one. Your father never spoke an honest word in his life. Doubt Ronan has either. Ronan's guilty of more things than I can count, but he wasn't lying about this. I could tell by the look on his face. He's a man who's seen despair, but found some hope again. That makes him worth saving. Seems to me like you're falling for this new Ronan O'Reilly. I felt bad about leaving you like that before we had a chance to get better acquainted. You should have kept running right out of the country. And you've got no reason to disappear. The Balkan knows I've been loyal. Getting one over on you just proves I'm worth what he pays me. <laughs> the only thing it proves is you're a fool for coming back, O'Reilly. 
hate to break up a good party.